his first contribution. It's a brilliant block down there. I think it was uh, Paddy McGrath. It's still a chance here. Cullen over the bar and Dublin lead. Brian Cullen keeps up his record of getting a point a game in championship matches. Match number five. This was the block here by Paddy McGrath initially from O'Gara's shot. And when it was recycled back across the face of goal, it was a composed Brian Cullen who took his time and put it over to make it 7-6. What a pass that came across there. I missed in the excitement who actually supplied the pass. But a lovely finish by Cullen. But what a block as well, it has to be mentioned. What a terrific block, just as O'Gara was about to point. But Dublin got it eventually and now lead by one. Well, Donegal will bring in Martin McElhelen at the uh, next break in play. Now the task is a big one for them, but they've got the extra man, point behind, and they've lost possession. Kicked back in by Paul Flynn. Dublin have brought an added pace, an added tempo, quicker tempo to the game. That's cut out there by Marty Boyle. Forward by Rory Cavada. Ryan Bradley now, challenged there by Michael Dara McCauley, trying to keep him out. Michael Hagerty holds on to it. Will scramble, Marty Boyle, carried on here by David Walsh. Kevin Cassidy now, booting it in, as far as McFadden in at full forward, trying to take it down, three players around him, one Michael Fitzsimons, kicked away, oh he touched it on the ground, surely, might see it again. Michael Fitzsimons got uh, caught, slightly bigger man, McFadden of course, just here, well, he, well, it was he has his elbow. elbow on it. Yeah, don't think the referee decided that that was intentional. Martin McElhenney coming in in place of Michael Hagerty, whose second half involvement lasted 28 29 minutes. So that's three substitutions used by both management teams now. Vital last seven minutes of the game to be played, plus, I suppose, a minute or two of stoppage time. Fisher was holding up a board with number 18 on it. Now he's taking it down. Philly McMahon. Matadara McCauley now. Challenged there vigorously by Paddy McGraw. 7 6, Dublin ahead. Is it to be a Dublin Kerry final? Is there a late response by Danny Gall? Well, there is going to be a change now, and uh, it looks as though Paddy McBrearty is going to come in. And then Fennell jumped in That's there as well. Yeah, Fennel, yeah. Yeah. Fennel 22 in. And it's Bastic is out. Bastic, the one, as you say, who's gone. Goal with the ball right now is Kevin Cassidy. On as far as Martin McElhenney, trying to feed it into the forwards, spelling out the supply, however, is Kevin Nolan, away as far as Flynn. Dublin now need to hold the possession, be absolutely secure in the decision-making. It's going to demand enormous energy, willpower as well, to hold on to their one-point lead. And Donegal now have to start taking chances. This plan of keeping loads and loads of bodies back it's hardly going to work when they're a point behind and only five minutes to go. There was a tug on the Dublin player. Looks to be uh, Paul Flynn. And he's in some agony. Yeah, I'd say he's cramped, actually, when he was giving the ball. The, the, the pull was on Bernard Brogan as he darted to the corner, Ger. I think we're going to see uh, Paddy Backbrearty come in for Dunny Goal. And Anthony that, Thompson is the player being spoken to by the referee. And that's for an earlier play just here in front of us where Anthony was a bit late uh, meeting the challenge. He gets a yellow, but the important thing is a free for Dublin now. Two yellow cards given to Dunny Gold players. Three yellow cards given to Dublin and a red. That's it there. That's the incident. Paddy McBrearty in in place of Marty Boyle, who didn't last all that terribly long on the park. 
clearly didn't make a great contribution. I don't think the free is quite as in front of the goal as Bernard, Bernard Brogan would like it to be. Rory Hickey might help him find a new spot for us. Yeah, Pat Gilroy now living on his nerves, I'm sure, and the rest of the management team, Nicky Whelan, Paddy O'Donoghue and uh, David Hickey. Former great Dublin player, Hickey. This will be a crucial moment as Paul Flynn comes off and the player they're going to replace him with, I think, is going to be number 21, Ross McConnell. And that's the fifth and final sub that they can use. So that's a sad scene for Paul Flynn, sad sight. So in front of a packed hill, in front of 81,500 people, Bernard Brogan can kick his fourth point from a free. He's rattled it up and over. <laughs> they all count, and it's 8 6. Look at the clock, 67, nearly 68 minutes gone. Dublin so near to reaching an All-Ireland final for the first time in 16 years. Donegal haven't scored for 24 minutes. And now they need a goal, you would feel, to make their way into the All-Ireland final and keep their championship alive for 2011. Anthony Tompkins to take this. Short to Frank McGlynn. The plan worked up to a certain point, but Donegal have been only able to add on two points in the second half. The goal chance to McFadden again at the beginning of the half, you'd wonder whether that was one of the turning points from Donegal's point of view. Still they have it. Kavanagh taking the free kick. McGlynn feeding it on quickly. Ryan Bradley. It's still tied, it's lost by McFadden, it's won back by Dublin, lost again and regained. Again, the referee has blown his whistle. Alan Brogan way back helping out the defence, just holding on to what they've got. It's O'Gara. Fennell was ahead of him, he delayed kicking. Offered instead to give it down towards Bernard Brogan. Good defending by Johnny Gall and Rory Cavanagh back out, helping the uh, full back line. Worked on again, Mark McHugh. Here's David Walsh. Can they find the space, the latitude and the wit to open up this Dublin defence one last time, maybe? Oh, that's given away. Kevin Nolan. Down as far as Ross McConnell. And the referee just wants to wait because there's an injured Danny Goal player. Dublin fans not appreciating it, but the referee has uh, held up because there's an injury to Ryan Bradley, I think. It certainly got him. That's what happened to him. Caught by McConnell. Well, that's certainly a yellow card offence. Whether the referee wants to give it or not but the more important thing is that he stopped the play when the Dublin player had the ball and of course he can restart the play by giving that free to Dublin if he so wishes that's the, that's the crucial bit that Dublin will want to retain the possession the referee had a word with Michael Collins from Cork the uh, linesman He's still attending to the injured Ryan Bradley as we See some of the faces and some of the tension that is around Croke Park today on our Ireland semi-final day. We're into time added on. We haven't got a, a board yet showing us how many minutes to be added. Three minutes, I've now been told. So Dublin are three minutes from a final place. Donegal have that much time to try and get themselves back into it. They've got the possession. Eamon McGee's got the ball. Out as far as Paddy McGrath. Neatly forward here, and they work it. Trying to get it in there towards Thompson, but it's won back by Mac Manaman, who's battled hard and worked hard since coming on of the second half. Back again to Chair Brennan this time. On towards Ono Gara. Across towards Mac Manaman again. Working solidly, going by Ryan Bradley. Still he goes, built strongly. Diving save in the end. Michael Darrell McCauley keeping it in. Back it comes towards Bernard Brogan. And the ball comes further back to Rory Kavanagh. 
and Donegal have the chance now, the 15 men against the 14 in the second minute of stoppage time. Oh, it's very wayward, collected by Keanu O'Sullivan, booted back accurately into the centre. Eamon Fennell, Ross McConnell. When Dublin start to analyse this match, they'll consider the battle they were in. Down to 14 men after 58 minutes. Taking so long to get uh, a score from play. They'll bring up Cluxton shortly for this one, will they? No need to do so, really. I think they, I would. They've got uh, Kevin McMenamin, who's a left-footed player, but they're, they're bringing him up. Used up some seconds as yeah. well as we watch it again. My goodness, he's built strongly, isn't he? Well, McMenamin should have put that over the bar. I don't know what he was thinking about there. Trying to pick out Darren McCauley. OK, bit of an idea, but not a great one. Over the bar, stretch out the lead, make it into the goal lead. But Clubson will have a right good go at doing that, I suspect, and that will be it. In the league final here against Cork, Dublin got a free late on as well, and they didn't bring him up that day, and there was criticism afterwards, why didn't you? He was the one left-footed player who might have been able to take it. I think they might have learned lessons from past matches. Yeah. This to put three between them. It also uses up valuable seconds well into the third minute now of stoppage time. Cluxton to strike. Has he got it? He hasn't, but I doubt if it matters very much at this stage. A tenth wide. All immaterial, really. It's about getting to the final. It's about getting there on the 18th of September. Kerry are there. Dublin are there. The Dubs were down to 14 players from the 58th minute when Dermot Connolly was red carded. They started hesitating hesitantly. They've come back strongly. The fans don't care how they managed to reach the final as Pat Gilroy and Jim McGuinness have a word. From startled earwigs as they were two years ago to all Ireland finalists. Durham Dublin's graph will rise again, and the Dublin fans will look forward to coming back here on All Ireland Final Day. We're set for the 12th ever. Kerry Dublin All Ireland final in three weeks' time. And it'll be the first decider, of course, between the counties since 1985. It was quite a battle. Well, indeed, it was. I, uh, I have to say, it's not the sort of game that attracts me, but uh, the contest was very real and very obvious from up here. The tension in the game. Dublin found a way eventually. I think McMenamin was key to that. Uh, and you have to credit the management that changed the tempo and the pace and the approach and it just wore them down and they got a few calls uh, their way, they were the crucial ones and uh, they inched their way, sneaked their way by Donegal So now we can start thinking in terms of Kerry v Dublin last time it was the 2009 quarter final, the margin of victory was 17 points then for Kerry Kerry have set the bar Dublin now know the challenge at the end of this semi-final at Croke Park, it's Dublin eight points,